Singapore and China deepen partnership. The 16th JCBC, the 16th Joint Council for Bilateral Cooperation JCBC, between Singapore and China commenced on the 8th of November 2020. It is the highest level bilateral platform between both nations and is jointly chaired by Singapore Deputy Prime Minister Heng Sui Keat and Chinese Vice Premier Han Zheng. Singapore and China agreed to expand their cooperation in areas such as public health, digitalization, sustainable development, and increasing connectivity, so as to achieve a prosperous future together. Ten memorandums of understanding, uh, MOUs, and agreements were signed virtually during the meeting. They are as follows, MOU on health cooperation, uh, MOU on food safety cooperation, MOU on China-Singapore-Tianjin customs twinning cooperation, MOU on mutual translation and publication of Singapore-China classics, MOU on establishment of a working group to study the feasibility of co-developing a dispute resolution mechanism, MOU on health policy fellowship exchange, MOU on biomedical cooperation between Singapore and Suzhou Industrial Park, MOU on Nanyang Technological University China West uh, Entrepreneurship and Innovation Project. Joint paper on enhancing environmental cooperation in the post-COVID-19 era. Agreement on deepening cooperation on the Sino-Singapore International Joint Research Institute. Other issues reviewed were the Belt and Road Initiative, economic cooperation, trade and innovation, financial cooperation, public health cooperation, people-to-people -people exchange, and sustainable development. On COVID-19. Singapore and China will discuss how to better utilize existing fast lanes, increase flight frequency, and restore in-person exchanges when appropriate so as to aid economic recovery. Both countries have already worked closely on pandemic management since the start of the pandemic, having discussed COVID-19 prevention strategies and methods to safely resume social and economic activities. The Singapore-China Shenzhen Smart City Initiative the initiative was signed during the last meeting in 2019, with progress made in areas such as digital trade, cross-border data management, innovation and entrepreneurship. Singapore will continue to contribute to the development of the city by pushing digitalization, thereby raising the quality of life there. Digital documentation trials and other collaborations. Qinzhou and Tianjin, two Chinese ports, will join Singapore's networked trade platform. This will reduce the paper needed for documentation, as well as reduce time wasted during import and export. Singapore and China will share best practices in new technology application and exchange permit data for risk management. The digitalization pilot will be carried out in Shenzhen in the first quarter of 2021, where Singapore and the city will mutually recognize electronic bills of labeling. If it is successful, the initiative will be expanded to the rest of China and the region. Shenzhen will also be added to Singapore's Global Innovation Alliance, which was founded by Singapore to strengthen its links with innovation hubs worldwide. This will allow both cities to tap on talent and ideas from both sides. Singapore and China will also, over the next two years, cooperate in regional and international platforms such as the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change and in ASEAN-China relations. Both countries will also enhance circular economy and zero-waste initiatives at the Sino-Singapore-Tianjin EcoCity, exchange back, uh, best practices in carbon pricing, and development of monitoring, reporting, and verification requirements. Three ongoing bilateral projects. The, uh, the China-Singapore Suzhou Industrial Park collaboration will enter new areas including healthcare, biomedical services, and modern services, while tapping on the China Jiangsu uh, pilot free trade zone to test out innovations. The sustainable development achievements found in the Sino-Singapore-Tianjin EcoCity will be replicated in other Chinese cities along the Belt and Road Initiative. The China-Singapore Chongqing Demonstration Initiative on Strategic Connectivity CCI has seen progress made on financial services, aviation, transport and logistics, and information and communications technology. 
Through this, the CCI New International Land Sea Trans uh, Trade Corridor will reinforce supply chains between Southeast Asia and Western China through its mutual hubs Singapore and Chongqing. Financial Cooperation Singapore's Monetary Authority of Singapore and the People's Bank of China are deepening financial cooperation by promoting digital finance to support investment activities. Setting up a 25 billion yuan or Singapore $5.1 billion facility to boost yuan liquidity in local banks and aiding collab collaboration between Singapore and Chinese exchanges of trade funds and green finance. The China Construction Bank was additionally awarded a Qualifying Full Bank License QFB as part of the 2019 China-Singapore Free Trade Agreement Upgrade Protocol, granting it greater operational, pri operational privileges. In return, the China Construction Bank will establish a Commodity Trading Center, Investment Banking Transaction Center, and FinTech Innovation Center here in Singapore.